Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this problem, problem 17 from chapter 4 of Head's book for the circuit of figure 4.47 determine the value of the voltage labeled Vx so what is Vx? Vx is the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor here okay now I think I will use nodal analysis so let's put this bottommost node here as our ground so V is equal to 0 and this node here as node A and this node here as node B okay let's assume the direction of the current so this is going to the right going down going to the right going down and just follow the direction of the arrow so going to the right then going down right okay so now let's do KCL at node A And remember that KCL said the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out, right? Okay, in node A, there is only one current that goes in, which is this one here. But here, this node here will be 5 volt from the ground, so that will be 5. So I will have 5 minus VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 10. And that will equal to this current here, that will be Va minus 0 divided by 80. Okay. And then this current here, so I will have plus Va minus Vb divided by 5. Yeah, 5. So now let's do some uh, simplification by multiplying both sides by 80 okay multiplying by 80 this cancel to 8 right 10 and 80 will cancel into 8 so i will have 40 minus 8 va and 80 when and 80 will cancel each other so i'll have va here and then plus 5 and 80 will cancel into 16 so I'll have 16 VA minus 16 VB. Okay. Now that should be 40. And then 1 plus 16 will be 17. 17 plus 8, that will be 25 VA. And then minus 16 VB. Yeah, I think no more that we can do here. So I'll have 25. 25 VA minus 16 VB and that will equal to 40. Let's have that as equation number 1. And now let's do KCL at node B. KCL at node B. Remember that KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The currents that goes in is this one here so i will have va minus vb divided by 5 and this is going out so i will have vb minus 0 divided by 15 and this one will be plus 0 0.3 okay i think i can multiply both sides by 30 to get rid the denominator right let's just multiply it by 30 so i will get 5 and 30 will cancel into 6 so i will have 6 va minus 6 vb and that will equal to this one will be 2 vb right 2 vb and this one will be 9 Okay, let's move this VB to the left hand side. So I'll have 6 VA minus 8 VB. That will equal to 9. Save it as equation number 2. And we have two equations, two variables. Just plug it into calculator and we get VA and VB. Right? Then we have 25 minus 16, 6 and minus 8. And the factor will be VA and VB. 
and the result vector will be 40 MRI. Okay, get your calculator and set it up as equation solver. We need number one here, so I'll have 25 and then minus 16 and then 40 and then 6 and then minus 8 and then 9. Okay, I will get our VA here or X. That will be 1.692. Okay, VA is 1.692. And then VB, what is VB? VB is the Y of the equation. So I'll have a 0 0.144. And the unit will be full. But remember, we are asked to find the Vx. But Vx is just Va minus Vb, right? So let's just subtract this out. So I will have Va minus Vb here. And I will have that number. So I have 1.692 minus okay wrong. 0 0.144 okay and i will have 1.4548 1 1.548 and so the value of vx will be 1548 and that is the desirable value that asked by the problem. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. And thank you for watching. And bye-bye.